Welcome back. We've been working through problem 61A and it has been going fantastically well. We got down to part F and I said, oh, operating leverage, that's kind of tricky. I want to devote its own video to F and G, which are both related to operating leverage. And I want to explain the concept of operating leverage. I want to illustrate it with these two companies. I think by the end of this, you're going to have a pretty good understanding of what operating leverage is. Uh, so we have two companies. Let's assume they're in the same industry. Let's assume their competitors and on the face of it they look pretty similar they sell the exact same amount they both have the exact same amount of operating profit very similar companies except for variable company has most of its expenses are variable and fixed expense uh, fixed company and most of its expenses are fixed that's the big difference between the two companies well we would say that fixed ink has a much higher operating leverage than variable company. And that's not a compliment or an insult, that's just an observation. And let's explain by calculating the operating leverage of both of these companies. It's CM divided by operating income. So for variable company, it's 30 divided by 10, it's operating leverage is three, right? 30,000 divided by 10,000 oh, CM divided by operating income. So again, 30 divided by 10. I think we can all do the math in our head. It's three, 3.0. 3 and it's, and that's just a number. It's not a percentage or dollar amount. That's just a number. And for fixed ink, their operating leverage CM 80 divided by 10, you can see it's eight. So it has higher operating leverage. What does operating leverage mean? It means how swingy our profits compared to a change in sales. So here's how to think of it. For every X percent increase in sales, operating income will increase by X times the operating leverage. So if sales, for example, go up 10%, let's just say both companies are projecting sales are going to go up 10% next year. So they both think sales are going to go up by 10%. Operating income will increase by 10% times that operating leverage factor. So for variable company, operating income is gonna go up by 10% times three, 30%. For fixed company, operating income is gonna go up by 10% times eight, 80%. Now, it also works going down. So uh, fixed company is riskier than variable company, but they have bigger upside as well. And that should make intuitive sense, right? If fixed companies sales really, really drop, well, it's stuck with all these fixed costs. The fixed costs don't drop. If variable company sales really, really drop, well, their variable costs drop with them and most of their costs are variable. This is a way of discussing that relationship. So let me just prove what I just said. So let's just say both companies' sales do go up by 10%. So this goes up by 10%, so it becomes $110,000. This is plus 10% because variable costs go up if sales go up. So this is $77,000. 110 minus 77 is 33,000. Fixed expenses remain the same. So fixed expenses are 20. And our, our operating income goes up to 13,000, well, wouldn't you know it, that's a 30% increase. So we we didn't need to recreate the income statement to go, oh, variable company, if its sales go up by 10%, its operating profits are going up by 30%. Let's look at fixed company, which we said operating profits are gonna go up by 80%. The sales go up by 10%, so again, to 110. Variable expenses go up by 10%, so to 22,000. 110 minus 22,000 is 88,000. Fixed expenses stay at 70 because they're fixed and our operating income goes up to, my handwriting's a little messy, $18,000. So yeah, it went up from 10 to 18. That is an 80% increase, right? And the math is 10,000 times 0.8. $8,000. It went up by $8,000. That's an 80% increase. So that's how operating leverage works. The higher the operating fact, operating leverage factor, the more the profits will swing based on a change in sales. And there are companies with very low operating leverage factors, very high, and that speaks to their strategies or just 
operating styles. Um, so let's return to our problem now. We were working through charming clothiers and it says compute the degree of operating leverage, which is just that formula, the operating leverage factor there, CM divided by operating income. So what is our CM? Uh, 96,000, our operating income is 36,000, so 96,000 divided by 36,000, our operating leverage is 2.66666, so F, the answer is 2.6667, and that's our operating leverage factor. G, it says, if sales go up by 20% next year, how much is operating income going to increase? Well, if sales go up by 20%, uh, operating income is going to go up by 20% times 2.66667. It's going to go up by 53.333%. Now, what does that look like? Well, it was at 36,000, so 36,000 times 0.5333333 is $19,200. So we think operating income is going to go up plus $19,200. Um, so again, op inc is going up by $19,200. That's it. We've answered G, but let's just kind of prove it. Let's say sales do go up by 20%. What are our new sales? If sales go up by 20%, they were 240 times 1.2, they're gonna be 288. If sales go up by 2%, variable expenses, or 20%, variable expenses also go up by 20%, so times 1.2, uh, 172,800, 288, Minus 172, 800 gives us our co new contribution margin, 115, 200. And our fixed expenses remain 60. So 115 minus 115, 2 minus 60 is 55,200, which the math works both ways, was an increase of $19,200 and was also an increase of 53.333 repeating percent so yes we've solved it this step was not asked for this was just me sort of freestyling to explain to you what's going on here but this actually you could do very quickly you could say our operating leverage factor was 2.66 if sales go up 20 percent operating income is going up 53 percent there we have it we've solved the operating leverage portion of problem 61a as always i hope my videos are helping that's why i make them if they're helping you i hope you'll help me with a thumb or a sub have a great day see you in the next video bye bye the next video in our series is right up here and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series that's the one down below